Athabasca University Library Tutorial Video Series. Hi everyone! So you found an article that you want to access, but you can't seem to find the PDF? Maybe you saw it in a reference list, maybe it came up on a search and you aren't sure how to actually access the PDF? First, I will note that this will often happen because vendors are not able to link everything seamlessly. Some databases host no articles but are able to link to some, some can link to some databases but not all, and often there are errors between these various vendor links. The first thing we want to do is grab the citation. A lot of databases have a cite function. So in ProQuest, it looks like this. You'd select cite, and then you can select which citation style and copy and paste it into your document. In EBSCO, you can select cite here, and likewise. Or you can just keep it open on the page while you're looking for it, but the time, it may time out, so it's always good to have a backup copy if you're wanting to access it at some point. So the first thing we want to do with this article is to try searching it in the main search box. We'll put in the title, which was, as you can see here, an invaluable friend. So if we click on the title, we'll be taken to this item record. Often the left side of the page will have a PDF icon that will take you right to the PDF. Sometimes there will be something like this, full text in Sage Journals Online. That will usually take a couple steps to get to the PDF. Here it is. And sometimes it will say something like full text finder. This one usually takes two steps to get to. You have to click on it and then go to find the article. And there we go. And sometimes there will be nothing, like you can see here. So if we go back to our article, we can see that we've got the full text link. But if that wasn't working, our next step would be to go to the library homepage select journal title and since we have the citation up here we want to select the title of the journal the article is published in so that's not the article title but the journal title and we've got primary healthcare so if we put that into the journal title search we know that the article is published in 2017 and we can see various date ranges here you can see this one is a different journal so we can see various databases here, and the only one that's going to include 2017 is this bottom one. So if we select it, we then need to remember that we need to select 2017, Volume 27, Issue 6. This is why we want to keep the citation, so we can make sure to find it. Every database will look a little different, but they will all have the same functionality and there should be a way to view older issues, whether it's an archives tab or a view older issues section. We're going to select 2017 and volume 27, issue 6. And then we can scroll down to the article and you'll be able to select the full text PDF there. If you search a journal and nothing comes up, this means we don't have access to the journal through our library subscriptions. But it doesn't mean you won't be able to access the item. The next step I like to try is to use Google Scholar. I will note that if you select the hamburger icon, then settings, then library links, you can add any universities you have access to. In this case, we'll add Athabasca University with both of these links. Then we'll once again search an invaluable friend. You can see sometimes there's an AU library link, sometimes there's a PDF. In this case, you can select the title of the article. And we come right to where we can grab the full text PDF. Now, the last thing is that if none of those work and it doesn't seem like we have access in our library, what you can do is select Get Library Support, Accessing Services, and you can select an interlibrary loan request. So we're going to do an article and we'll fill in all this information from the citation that you hopefully still have open, and they'll email you the article as soon as they find it. I hope this helps you use the library and access articles. We're happy to help, but it's good to have some ways to troubleshoot if you're stuck in a time crunch. Have questions? We're here to help.